Hello again, uh, you're welcome along to another video. Um, fall to is fair, Roach. Um, today I'm going to be tying my super spinner in a size 18. Probably my favourite fly of all times. I catch more trout on this than any other fly. Um, I've caught many, many thousands of trout over the years with this fly. So tie it up. There's a little bit of tying in it, it's a very small fly, quite a few materials going into it, so it is difficult enough to tie it, but definitely worth the effort. Give it a try, I'm quite sure you'll be impressed. So let's get to it. Right, okay. Now this fly is tied on a size 18. These are the hooks I'm using. Put one of those in the vise. Now, the tying silk or thread I'm using are, is um, uni thread in 80 red. And I start off here, just behind the eye, and down and approximately halfway, and then back up a little. So I'm approximately just short of halfway is along the hook shank. Now, to make the wings, we need three different materials. White antron, fluorescent pink um, floss, and sky blue floss. And the three of those in um, equal measure together, and you come up with this. And that's what makes the wings. You tie in those wings with a figure of eight. And cut them to length. Now, cut both sides together because if you try to cut them separately you'll inevitably get it wrong and they'll be different lengths. So. There we are. Now, back down along the hook, just here to the bend, and where I'm going to create just a little bump. And the reason for that will be apparent very shortly. Now, what I have here are um, I'm using paintbrush fibers to make the tail, and uh, the paintbrush fibers are bristles if you like are grey in colour. Now you can use grey. I don't believe it'll make a whole pile of difference but I like to colour them black. So I get a permanent marker. And there we are there, black. Right. Need to get them the same length now. A bit of trouble separating them when, when you use the permanent marker, they tend to stick. Yeah. Right. My tails, just get them the right length. Now, I'm going to tie in the tails, and that little bump that I've created there. I bring the tails down onto it and then I tie just in front of it and that will I'll be able to separate the tails over that bump given the that nice little fork that is consistent with the natural fly. Now trim off the wing or the Tailing material. Now the next material, pink wire. Now it needs to be a fine wire as well. Um, when you're dealing with flies that are in the sort of 18 or smaller range, everything you use will need to be fine. Fine pink wire. 
tie that in. And the next thing is my dubbing. Uh, the colour is approximately what I'd call brick red and I make it up from um, a mixture of red and orange dubbing together. And that's the colour that most approximates the body colour of the sherry spinner. Hence the name sherry I suppose. Now you make a very fine little rope of that dubbing. And we we'll create our body. And when you reach the wings just hang the thread just in front of the wings. Now the, the wire goes on in the direction opposite to the dubbin. Open turns you generally get three or possibly four to create that segmented effect and then just in front of the wing tie that off. the waist. Now you could just go on now to dub the rest of the fly here and uh, just tie it off and uh, it'll do perfectly fine like that and will work fine also but I like to add a hackle because it gives it a little extra buoyancy keeps it, a, it floats better so I add in the hackle just here a grizzled hackle as it happens tie it in just in front of the wings and turn behind the wings and a turn in front of the wings and then trim the Hackle off. Now at this point, if you see any little errant fibres, such as this one here, and a couple just here under the hook, just trim them off. And again, a little, a very little addition of dubbing here at the front. And we're ready to tie it off. Ooh, slipped on me there. Now, and a second whip finish just for security. Cut off your tying silk. And all that's required now is just to trim off all the fibers from underneath the hook. And we have our super spinner ready for the water. Um, there's a little bit of tying in the fly, it takes a while to do it, but it's definitely worth it. Give it a try. I've been using this fly for a number of years, and um, it works better than the fly with the standard white wing. Give it a try. Excellent fly in a fall of spinners of any kind, but particularly so in the blooming olive spinners, the sherry spinners have fallen. So thanks again for watching. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of future videos. And uh, good day on Kea Dorella. Good day, Shif